Good day, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for this wonderful uh, live stream here on Facebook as we talk about spotlights. And I am down, I think you can guess, I am down in New Orleans right now, which is actually one of our spotlight tours. I am down here enjoying a little Mardi Gras celebration. So you can see the Mardi Gras tree behind me. I have my Mardi Gras colors on. I even have some fun beads. You can join me as I enjoy a little king cake. I'm really excited. This is a nice praline king cake. And then, of course, you know, you got to have a little bit of champagne as you're enjoying Mardi Gras down here in New Orleans. So, so excited to have you joining us. Please let us know in the comments where you're joining us from and let us know, you know, if you've had the opportunity to enjoy a little Mardi Gras celebration in your life. Have you been down to New Orleans? Have you had the opportunity to come and experience uh, the beauty that is Louisiana uh, as you come down here? And really, this is this is my favorite place. I've talked about this many times on our lives. I love New Orleans. I love coming down down here. I was down here about two weeks or excuse me, a couple months ago last um, May for a, a couple of weeks uh, with my husband, we were down here enjoying, um, you know, all the food, all the music, you know, there's some great opportunities for you to enjoy them as well. Uh, Jazz Fest, there's all kinds of great places to visit when you come down here on tour with us. And as I mentioned, we do have that fantastic spotlight on New Orleans that you can come looks like we have people coming contacting us from Florida. So you know, thank you so much. We're going to have a great speaker on California. Love California. Lived there for a couple of years. Um, so we have people really joining us from all around. Uh, so I want to thank you all for you know taking the time out of your schedules to come. We're going to have a great guest speaker on with us. I can't believe that we're almost on a full year of Colette Talks. So it's really great to be on with you again this year as we discuss spotlights and what spotlight means. You know, we've talked about explorations. We've talked about tour managers. We've talked about, you know, trending destinations. But now we're going to dive a little bit deeper into spotlights, which is our single hotel stay and really talk all about that. Again, just enjoying a little bit of the king cake here and really going to have a wonderful conversation because I'm going to be introducing to in just a minute our wonderful director of product design um, or uh, excuse me she was the director of product design now she is the director of product marketing so the senior director really excited to have her on um, so really you know ask your questions get them ready to go as we talk about all things uh, spotlights which is again that single hotel stay so I'm going to welcome uh, she's going to join us now we're going to have her um, come on in I'm going to take this off because I think it'll be a little distracting for you if I have that on the whole entire time but I'm going to welcome Diana Ditto, who is the Senior Director of Product Marketing. And again, she also spent many years, many of you probably know her from, you know, Director of Product Design. She has had the opportunity to design some amazing tours that we do have here at Colette. Um, she's somebody who understands the tour and the product line. So that's why we wanted to have her on to be our guest uh, speaker with us today. So Diana, I just want to welcome you and say hello. How's it going today? Hey, Josh, it's great. I am jealous that you are down in New Orleans. That looks amazing. It's so much fun. And it's so nice today, you know, living up in New England, you know, we have that brutal cold right now and coming down here. Don't want to make anybody jealous who's in the cold, but you know, it's like 75 degrees and sunny and it's the perfect time to just enjoy. Oh, well, it's raining here. So just lovely out. I'm in Rhode Island where you should be and it's, yeah, not great weather. I'll make sure that when I come back next week, I bring some of that uh, warm weather back up with us as we start heading into spring. Please do. Please do. So I'm excited to have you on and really excited to discuss, you know, discuss Colette and then discuss really spotlights. And, you know, spotlights is really a, a growing product line that we have here at Colette. And I'm excited to have you on. And, you know, I, I thought I'd ask you, you know, to begin with it kind of Explain your role now within our, the marketing department and what it means to be a product marketing director. So, yeah, I was in, as you said, I was in product for about eight years. And then I went to the other side, you know, because there's the product side and the marketing side. So I moved over to the other side um, and it's been great. I've been there since I came back from my maternity leave in October and um, working with this awesome marketing team and just trying to, you know, help us all understand how to better position our product, how to talk about it, um, why it's so special, why it's so unique. We have over 160 tours and that is a lot of product. So to be able to effectively, you know, position that and understand it is really hard. So one of my primary roles is to, you know, bridge that gap and to make sure that all of the amazing enhancements and really great um, itineraries that we have are being, you know, brought to life so that the consumer can, can understand what they are and, and all of that fun stuff. 
Um, so kind of a, a translator role, I guess. I love that. As you mentioned, you know, we do, we have over 160 tours. There is so much, so many amazing experiences and it's a lot to talk about on one live. So that's why we've kind of broken it up and we're, we're talking about little pieces of our product. And today, today's focus really is on spotlight tours, which are immersive, they're guided, they're fully guided tours that stay in one specific city and one hotel stays, so one packing only once. So kind of wanted to ask you, you know, why do you love spotlight tours? So yeah, I love them, love them, and our travelers do too. So pre-COVID, Spotlight was actually our fastest growing travel style. So we have Explorations, which is small group, we have River Cruise, Faith Tours, but Spotlights, these city state programs were actually the fastest growing. So the reason that I love them is, you know, today everything is go, go, go. We move at 90 miles an hour. We want everything done yesterday. Our Amazon packages need to be here in two hours. Um, Life is kind of like speed dating sometimes. It's like, whoa. And Spotlight kind of, it's a travel style that, that says slow down because this go, go, go approach, at least for our travelers, definitely for me, it doesn't work. It, you know, it's, it's not what people are looking for. They want to really get to know a place. And to get to know a place, you have to spend a little bit of time there. And so this idea of one city, one city, one city, it works for some people, but what we're hearing loud and clear from our travelers is we really want to slow down, peel back the layers of the onion and, and feel like we really understood a people, a culture, a destination. Um, you know, I say a spotlight tour, if you had to give it a personality, it's kind of like a really well-informed expat and everyone's probably met that person in their life. You know, someone who you listen to them talk and you're like, you know, they lived in Thailand for five years or they, you know, lived in Paris for 10 years or whatever. And you listen to them talk and you're like, wow, that's so cool. This guy knows everything about France. Um, spotlights give our travelers the opportunity to become that person. You know, oh yeah, we were in London and, and we were there for a whole week. And, and you kind of become that person that if you're out at a dinner party, you know, everyone's like, she really knows what she's talking about. Let's listen to her. Wow, that's a really cool story. I love that. And I, I love the fact that, you know, when you go on the spotlight tour, you really become that local over time too. Like you start knowing like that's the coffee shop that I go to in the morning before I start the tour. Or, you know, like I went to that restaurant down the street and you give that recommendation to maybe somebody who's looking for a lunch that's on the tour. Oh, I already went over there. And you really get to live like the local and many of the destinations that we are in. And people will notice too, we really grew our spotlight brand here in the United States. We have a lot of great spotlights right here in our own backyard. And I think that's really important because people love to travel, you know, right here in the United States, especially now getting out there, we're noticing people are trending there, but we're also opening up such amazing places like Tuscany and London and Paris, the French Riviera, the places people want to go and really dive in and live like that local. Totally, totally. And there's, there's great opportunities in Europe. There's great opportunities here. And, you know, the thing that's nice about the spotlights is you, you spend a lot of days in the city, like in the actual destination where you are. So for example, you know, in the French Riviera, but then you kind of hub and spoke out to some of the, the neighborhoods, which is really great. You know, in Boston, for example, we have spotlight on Boston. So you spend a lot of time in the city, but then you get out to Lexington and Concord, you get out to Salem, all these other amazing places that are in the Metro Boston area. And so you leave with a very well-rounded understanding of the destination, which is fantastic. And to your point, Josh, of, you know, finding your own little favorite places in this destination. It's so true. Like you develop your own new routine, um, kind of where you are. If you're someone who likes to do walks in the morning, then you do your walk in the morning, but now you're doing exactly. it in Tuscany. You know, now you're doing it in Savannah, Georgia. And so you still kind of do your same thing, but you're just bringing it to life in a totally new way. I love that. You know, you have your morning coffee at home and you can still have your morning coffee in Paris, but really kind of out there just enjoying it, you know, at a, at a local cafe or even just in your hotel, people watching, like there's just, it's so fun to do. And I think 
that's just what I love about it is really just diving into that. And as you mentioned, people, you know, kind of always question like, are we just staying in one city? But as you mentioned, we might have the hotel in that city, but it is that hub and spoke. You get to go off and enjoy, you know, in South Dakota, you know, you're staying right there in, I think it's Rapid City, but you're going to see Mount Rushmore. You're going to see Crazy Horse. You're going to Wall Drug. You're going to the Badlands. So you're really getting out there and living that experience of that portion of South Dakota. You're not just staying right in that city. Totally. And I love, you know, I, I did that myself. It, it, it is fantastic, you know, South Dakota. I think you had mentioned too, was it your dad who absolutely loved Mount Rushmore and it was like an experience for him. It's the same thing oh, yeah. with, my, with my mom and my, my stepdad. They have gone twice now and they absolutely love it. It's like one of those breathtaking moments in our own backyard that we don't think about. For sure. I mean, traveling in the U.S. is one of my favorite things to do. And I, you know, as tough as COVID was, a silver lining of it was, being able to explore our own country because there is so much to see. Um, you know, we live in Rhode Island and my husband and I went and spent a week just in the Hudson Valley and it was amazing. And I probably would have never done that. And we have so many tours that just focus on, you know, all the different places in the United States. And, you know, we all, we feel this need sometimes to go overseas to find unique culture. You can go to the South and find unique culture. You can go to Santa Fe and find unique culture. I mean, that's the beauty of the United States. And, you know, our tours really kind of call out all of these different um, unique personalities of the destination. We really play that up because that's what people love. Um, I heard someone recently say this and I thought it was so fun, which was go big and stay home. And I was like, yes, oh my gosh, so true. So, so true. So true. To your point too, you know, I think people always think, yeah, you have to go away to another country to experience more culture, but it is, it, we have a cultural melting pot here in the U.S. And even like cuisine, like you go to the Southwest, it's going to be different than the Northeast. And you're going to come up to Maine, you're going to get some wonderful lobster. You know, you're going to go to the Southwest and you're going to get wonderful tamales. And there's just so many different opportunities for you to try so many things right here in our own backyard. And that's one thing, as you it's mentioned, so, yeah. you know, we don't, we don't do a lot of, because we, we live here and we think, oh, we have to go. I have to go to Europe. I have to go. But you know, just there's so much to do right here that I just, I, I love that. And that's what I did too, a lot with, with COVID is getting a chance to travel around our country and just taking the time to soak all of that in. You know, I drove down here to New Orleans. I took, you know, three days, me and my husband, and, you know, we stopped off in Roanoke to, you know, Ruby Falls. And then we stopped off in Birmingham. And now we're here in New Orleans. It's a great opportunity to see so much and to meet new people and, you know, different cultures within our own United States. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. And especially in New Orleans, we have a spotlight tour there too, um, which I think you may have guided or take, you know, taken. And it's, oh my gosh, the, the, the jambalaya, the crawfish, I mean, talk, and just the music. I mean, New Orleans is like a whole other universe. And that's what is just awesome about the spotlight tours. And we give our travelers the time to, you know, to actually really understand it and appreciate it. And, you know, one thing too, that's important to remember with you know, with guided travel, but spotlight tours specifically, I think there's this misconception sometimes that people take guided tours because they, they want to be handheld and they, they want this, you know, safety of, of the group and having everyone, you know, having everything done for them. And there is maybe some truth to that, but the reason, at least the Colette travelers that I know go guided is because they're really travelers, you know, and they're really um, cultured and curious individuals. And they know that when you go as part of a guided tour, specifically a spotlight tour, you are given access to, you know, to go deep into that culture and to go deep into that destination. Um, you know, that if you're only spending a few days there, or if you were going by yourself independently, you wouldn't have the outlets and the access to um, you know, kind of the, the unique things to do, the local restaurants, all of these things that both our local guides and our tour managers bring to life for the travelers. And, you know, so that's another thing too, you know, going to New York with Colette on our spotlight tour, our guides, you know, know the off the beaten path, path traces, you know, places, hey, I'll take you down to Greenwich Village, let's hop on the subway, you know, we'll get off at West 4th Street, and I'll walk you over to my favorite place, you know, 20 bucks, the local guy probably knows the owner and it's, you know, amazing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get those things on your own or maybe you do, but it's just so hard. Um, I think what I love too, is like, you, you kind of touched upon it is that 
it's a mixture, right? It's a mixture of free time, but you still have that guide. So even if you want a little of that security where you're like, I really, you know, maybe you're not ready to go out on your own the first couple of days, you know, you can talk to the guide and they give you great suggestions. So then by the end, you know, you're kind of like, see you later. And you're kind of going off and enjoying, but you also have the touring. You're going to see the highlights. You're going to see the things in New York city. You're going to go and see Broadway shows. You're going to get a chance to go to Ellis Island. You're going to go to one of my favorites. I've tour guided that a couple of times now, Ellen Stardust Diner, where they oh, yeah. sit to you at breakfast. This. They hop on the tables, they sing amazing songs, they've been on Broadway, or they're trying to get on Broadway. Like those are things maybe you wouldn't think about, you know, if you go by yourself, but here we're going to bring you to this place that is just so popular and so exciting. And you're going to have group access, you're not gonna have to wait in a line. If you go to Ellen Sardis Diner, the line can be down the block, and people can wait an hour or two, we have access right away, we have a special time and we get to go right on in. And that's what I love about escorted touring in general. Now, Josh, I have to ask, because you have an amazing voice, and I know you have a theater background, have you sung with the singers at Ellen Startup? Just under my breath. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to upstage them. <laughs> no, they're very good. They're very good. Okay, just curious. I love Ellen's. It's great. I, have, I haven't thought about that in a while. It's such a great spot. Yeah, it's so fun. And a lot of our spotlights too, what I love too, is that we also do holiday versions of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can go on spotlight in New York city in the summer, but then you can go have a totally different experience at, in the winter time with our holiday. Same thing with, you know, San Antonio, we have a holiday adventure. I think even new Orleans, we come down in the holiday time. It's a great oh, way yeah. to, to see it, uh, you know, off holiday season and then on holiday season, two totally different experiences really. Hundred percent. I mean, if you have not seen the Rockettes in New York City, you have to do it. It is. I, I was reading through the surveys for the past, the last holiday tour that we had go through, and hands down, it is the number one highlight. At you know the lights at um, Rockefeller Center and the tree and you know St. Patrick's, everything. It is just incredible. Spotlight on New York is amazing. Christmas in New York is amazing. And um, oh yeah, we have tons of holiday tours and I love exploring places around the holidays because they have such a different energy Completely and, different. you know, it's just, and it's still mostly locals, uh, you know, going to London, not a lot of people travel to London over the holiday season, ditto for, you know, to San Antonio and places like that. So you still get a really great local vibe. Um, so that's another special aspect about traveling off season as well. So I do see we have some questions that are coming in here and, you know, I think we both can kind of answer this, you know, how many guests would you have on a Tuscany spotlight, you know, and, and I think in general, we look at explorations as more of your small group travel. So explorations is going to be your, you know, your 12, 24 passengers, but spotlights is kind of like with the classic where you're still kind of looking at having, you know, I think max, is it max about 44 passengers could be max on. Max is about 44. I say your average is probably 36, 38. So it's a yeah. really nice size. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, same thing with, you know, price point versus classic tours. Price point is going to just differ depending on your destination, right? Whether it's certain places in Europe, depending on the length, you know, so pricing will, will, will differ depending on what tour you take, you know, and, and where you go, you know, New York city is going to be a little higher than, you know, say heading off to maybe Santa Fe. So it's, we can see all of our pricing right online. It's all there. Every single date uh, that we have available, will have maybe different pricing depending on when you go, uh, you know, holiday season, off season, there's going to be different pricing there, but it kind of falls in line too with the location and then the length with spotlights. It's usually a little bit smaller. It usually encompasses maybe five to seven uh, days is, is kind of your average for a spotlight tour. That's right. That's right. Yeah. No, they're, they're really great value for money. Um, yeah, definitely. New York city is probably more expensive than anywhere. Um, but yeah, all the pricing's there. And it, as you said, very much on par with, with our classic product. And I love because we did introduce two new um, spotlights this year, as you mentioned, spotlight on Boston and also spotlight on Savannah. And I love Savannah with, you know, the Spanish moss trees. Savannah. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't had a chance to go to Savannah, you have to go. It's just, it really is that quintessential Southern, you know, it's part of our Southern charm tour too. If you've ever wanted to do a, you know, a tour that encompasses Charleston, Jekyll Island. I mean, it's not a spotlight. We can talk about that later, but I just love Savannah. And it's just such a great way to go and experience. And that's why we Oh, people, when it's one of my tour, favorite places. Savannah and wanting to spend more time there. So we created this great Savannah tour. Yeah. Oh, Savannah is amazing. And the thing that's so many of our spotlight tours have this Savannah, or the Savannah spotlight specifically, 
you know, we build in free time so people can flex their own interests. So I love the Civil War. I'm really, really interested in that. Sherman was a huge, you know, Sherman's March to the Sea went right through Savannah. And you can go there and kind of, you know, I'm interested in that so I can flex that history side that I really, really want to dive deeper into. But if you're a foodie, you can go and flex that. If you're interested in Forrest Gump, you can go and do that whole Forrest Gump Savannah thing. If you want gardens, amazing gardens in Savannah. And that's the same wherever you go. Um, you know, in New Orleans, where you are now, you have the free time that if you are super interested in Mardi Gras or super interested in jazz, you know, you can go and just really um, go deep into that because we build in enough free time to let, you know, your personal preferences and your personal interests, you could, you have the ability to explore, which is great. And one of my, actually one of my favorite things, I'm going to do a little plug for it here in New Orleans is, I believe we get to go there on tour. I'm not sure if it's an option, um, but it is uh, the World War uh, II Museum. It's actually, I think, voted the number one or number three best, you know, museum in the United States. It's absolutely fantastic. So again, there's, uh, you, you think of New Orleans and you think of just maybe food and jazz, but the museum itself, it's blown me away. I've gone twice now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It, I, I know people really like it. I've never been, but that's okay. Great. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And I thought maybe we could talk a little bit about, you know, one spotlight that I think is, is really fantastic is, you know, spotlight on Paris. And I think people are, are really excited about it because we talked about this earlier. You're not just seeing, you know, the Eiffel Tower and you're not just staying right in Paris. It's really that hub and spoke that gives you a chance to go out and really look at, you know, like a local in, in different areas outside of just quintessential Paris. And that's what I love about that. For sure. I'm going to butcher this. I did take six years of French in high school, which I will spare everyone having to listen to me talk now. But they, the neighborhoods in, in Paris are called the Ad Adores Mons or, or something like that. It, you know, the different neighborhoods. And what our tour does, that I love, is it takes a deconstructed approach to exploring Paris. So every day almost you kind of explore a different neighborhood. And some of them are your, your bigger neighborhoods, like the Marais, which is the Marais, see there it is, um, which is very, you know, popular. And I wouldn't say it's touristy, it's tourists and locals that go there. Um, but then we do a food tour in a neighborhood that I hadn't even heard of before, um, before we put this tour together. And it's very, very local. You are not going to find any tourists there. And so you get a really great feel for Parisian life. And, um, our travelers absolutely love it. And then of course you get all of the, the bigger, you know, Montmartre and go up to Sacre Coeur and, you know, the artist colonies and, and all of that. So you pair these amazing must-sees with, you know, with some of these quieter off the beaten path places. And then, as you said, every couple of days we get outside of the city as well. The cities are great, but then there's amazing places outside of the city too. So we get to explore those. And even you even get to go to Versailles, right? Like no, no trips complete to Paris if you don't get a chance to go to Versailles. And we've included that in as well. So you see there is the opportunity to see the quintessential Paris that you think of when you're thinking of it in your head, getting a chance to go to maybe the, those local neighborhoods that you mentioned, but then going a chance to, you know, even get a little further out into the countryside. And I think even some of our tours are, you know, that we have on in Europe or, or spotlights, you know, some have, you know, post tour extensions that allow you to maybe dig a little bit deeper in another section of the country as well. So keep an eye out for those, uh, you know, as we start Absolutely. building those out. We find that most of our travelers usually tack on a night or two at the end of the tours because they want just that extra time. Most of our travelers are, you know, they're going to London, they're going to Savannah, they're going to Nashville. They have a really clear idea of why they want to go there and what they want to see. And oftentimes that includes, you know, there's so much that they want to see and do in these places that they tack on those extra days to be able to, to fit it all in. As you said, we cover a majority of the must-sees, but if you're going to a place like London, I mean, you could spend a year there. You could spend a lifetime in London and still not see everything. And, you know, as I said earlier, everyone kind of has their own interests. And so that's where you have the free time and the, the opportunity for extra days to make sure that you really are, you know, if you are a World War II buff, if you are an art buff, um, if you are very into Gothic cathedrals, um, you will have the time to, to go and seek those out. So this is really the opportunity now for anybody to ask any questions. So if you do have any questions at all for us, you wanna know more about you know, spotlight tours or 
about Colette in general, please definitely feel free to type them into the box there. As I mentioned, there are so many spotlights, you know, I, I'll kind of run through them again a little. You know, we have here in the United States, you know, Spotlight in New Orleans, Boston's new, we have Nashville. I love Nashville. I love a good Goo Goo Cluster. If you've never had a Goo Goo Cluster, it's like caramel chocolate peanuts. It's fantastic. Um, Santa Fe, I love Santa Fe too. I, I say I love everything because every time I go, I just, I find new things to love. I tour guide, I've mentioned this a couple of times, our Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta tour. And we get a chance to stay in Santa Fe. And if, if you haven't gone to Santa Fe yet and you love art and you love sculptures and you want to learn about Georgie O'Keeffe, like it's a fantastic tour that we have as well. That's new. One of our, probably our most popular is the spotlight on South Dakota, which features Mount Rushmore. That's, you know, one of our most popular uh, spotlight tours, New York City, oh, yeah. it's great. Paris, Tuscany, London, the French Riviera. I mean, Diana, the French Riviera, how can you go wrong? Going to the front. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. We do this tea there at um, it's a lunch tea at the Villa Rothschild. I mean, some of these where these people lived, the views that they took in every day. I mean, it is unbelievable. And these little hillside towns that dot the countryside that we go and, you know, just spend an afternoon or a morning walking around in and watching the destination wake up and come to life. It is awesome. It is awesome. There's so many special places. I'm trying to think, I think you may have got them all, Josh. Um, we do have a lot. Yeah, San Antonio, we stay right on the river walk. Yes. Um, we go out, there's a an area there. I haven't been to it. It's called the Pearl District, which apparently everybody loves. Um, great restaurant scene there. So yeah, we take the travelers out there and they absolutely love it. But yeah, so many amazing, amazing destinations, both abroad and at home. And I mean, yeah, just having the time to spend in these places and really come to know them, get to know the local culture, the local feel, kind of develop your own routine in that area. It's fun. And I think you're going you're gonna to see a lot more spotlights, you know, come come into our product line as we move, you know, forward and in, into next year and, and beyond, because it really is, as you mentioned, a, a fast growing, you know, trend. And I think what I love about it too, is it's kind of does two things. Maybe one for those that have maybe have been to the destination on one of our classic tours, and maybe you've only spent a day in London and you just saw something quick and you wanted more time. It's great for that. And it's also great, I think, for people that don't have maybe two weeks to go off on an adventure. Maybe you only have that one week time right now. You're not fully retired, so you don't have all that time, but you still want to have that guided experience. It's great for them. And it's also maybe great for people that are wanting to step their toes into guided touring. You know, you just want to maybe test it out a little, see what guided touring is all about. Well, here you can come get that fully guided experience with the tour manager, but also have that free time to enjoy on many of these uh, wonderful spotlights. Totally. And I can't stress enough the value of the tour manager, both the tour managers that we work with and then the local guides, because we always like yes, to have, the local. yeah, the local guides, you know, when we're in museums, the, the docents come on and these people, the local guides and our tour managers are like, they're experts in, in the destinations and they eat, sleep and breathe them. So when you want, you know, the scoop on, Hey, what do the people in Paris think about this? Or what? how did South Dakota vote in, in, in this, you know, election over here? They know all of it and they'll, you know, they'll tell you all of it. They'll tell you where the best local places are, where to avoid, because that's just as important to know as where to go, um, where to avoid, where to go. They'll give you all the inside scoop, like, oh yeah, the mayor, they found $500,000 in his freezer, you know, all those inside stories that you're like, what? Um, it's because they, so they love doing. They love doing that. They love yeah. sharing that because yeah. that's 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 their knowledge, and they want to share that. And you really will notice that when you're on tours with a local guide. Yeah, they bring it to life, and then they pass all of that you know knowledge onto our travelers. Um, and so then our travelers feel so empowered, so confident, and they head out into the destination. And you know they you just you watch our travelers just you know come to life because they you know they have this this confidence that that the, that the traveler, that the, sorry, tour manager and the local guides and the guided touring itself provides. So I do have a question here um, and I can answer this one. It's about our, you know, cancellation policy. I know a lot of people are asking about the cancellation policy that we have here and it's a cancellation policy that we've always had, you know, we didn't have to change this, you know, you know, because of COVID, but if you purchase the travel insurance with us and the travel insurance range is dependent on, you know, the length of your tour, 
you can cancel 24 hours prior to departure and get a full refund, less the cost of that travel insurance, not a travel voucher, not a travel credit, but an actual refund. So, you know, you pay with your credit card, your credit card will get reimbursed because we know life is unexpected. You know, things change and you might need that money for something. Um, that's what we have always done. That's what we'll always do. So it's really, you know, you can purchase the travel protection plan and know that you can cancel up to 24 hours prior to departure and get a full refund. So Diana, as we kind of close down now, looks like if anybody has any other questions, I know I can't believe a half hour went by it this quick. Um, I know that you're home with your daughter and you know I'm down here you know, having a little king cake. She's screaming in the back, it's great. Mother <laughs> of the year award coming at me. I had to pick her um, up for everyone who's watching. I had to pick her up from daycare today. I think she may have um, hand, foot and mouth or whatever. I don't know if that's the one they have in the UK, hoof and foot, whatever. No, the dumb thing, I'm a new mom. So this is all, we're learning. We're learning. We're but learning. Uh, so this is, a, this is a true working mom right here, you know? Oh yeah, good times, good times. We're making it work. So yeah, if any other questions, because we don't have anything coming in. So I'm, Diana, I'm just going to kind of pass this back over to you to kind of give any final closing thoughts as you're talking to everybody who's watching. Um, anything that you want to say to them about spotlights or about Clet in general, I'm just going to kind of pass that over to you. Oh, wow. Uh, well, it's a great, spotlights are a great travel style. Um, I think, you know, explorations are small group, highly immersive is, is definitely my favorite, but spotlights, um, I will say when I travel, that's, that's how I go. Um, you know, this idea of really slowing down to experience a destination and taking the time to, to kind of pull back the layers of an onion that, that are a destination and getting to know it because, you know, who knows when we'll be back to a lot of these places. And so, you know, why rush through? And, you know, everything in life now is just go, go, go. And travel affords us the opportunity to really, really just take it to a different pace. And that's amazing and such a great opportunity. So that's why I love this travel style. Perfect. And, you know, for everybody who's watching, thanks so much for joining us. We did have something come in here, you know, about solo trips or, you know, singles trips. We do have solo opportunities on all of our tours. You know, we do have single opportunities. We are looking into, you know, solo travel and kind of that, that is on our radar. So we are looking into that. So, you know, any suggestions that you have, any suggestions you want to, you want me to talk about when we go through Colette Talks as we hit our one-year mark next month, please feel free to just direct message us, let us know, and we'll gladly kind of look into that and kind of put together some topics. So, you know, I'm going to go off. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of this king cake here. Nice praline. Going to have a little champagne and enjoy a little Mardi Gras. So thanks so much, everybody, for joining us, Diana. Thank you so much. And, you know, hopefully everything works out with your, with your daughter and, you know, everybody's yes. on the men soon. Yes, yes, yes. Have a great time in New Orleans. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Talk Bye, soon. everyone.